Hello, YouTube family. Tom, a.k.a. Patrick, with Patrick's Playbook. I am here to bring you a Dollar Tree haul today. Just a good old-fashioned, straight Dollar Tree haul with a fun frozen items taste test at the end. Two items. I'll keep that a secret for now. Two items at the end that uh, require microwaving and it's it's kind of lunchtime items lunchtime items and i'm very very excited about that so if you're new to the channel you could subscribe like or comment if you wish it's very helpful just for everything all that youtube stuff all that fun stuff like that um i love comments i answer them all because you're taking your time to comment to me i'm going to take my time to comment back to you so sometimes it takes me seven or eight hours to get back if i'm busy that day, but I answer every comment. So I just appreciate you all so very much. If you are a returning viewer, I just, I appreciate all of you so much. My, my daughter Mercy appreciates you. We all do. We just, we love our YouTube community and family we have going here. So without further ado, um, oh, before I begin the haul, I just want to mention one more time. And a lot of you are probably going to say, a lot of you that watch a good number of the videos on this channel are probably going to say, we get it. You went to a football game. We get it. You've mentioned it 5,000 times. But I'm filming this the day after um, the Vikings-Cardinals game. For those of you new, I'm a Minnesota Vikings fan. I've got my Vikings hat here. I need a haircut, by the way, which is why I'm wearing my hat. Um, it's a little chilly in Minnesota, but it's actually going to be very nice today. Um, very, very nice. But it's, you know, in the morning, it's chilly. Anyways, long story short. I went to the Vikings, Minnesota Vikings, Arizona Cardinals game yesterday. The Vikings won 34 to 26 to improve their record to six and one. And it was such an exciting game. It was back and forth. The Vikings had the lead most of the game, but the Cardinals had a very nice comeback. They have a really fun young quarterback named Kyler Murray. I got to see JJ Watt, a Hall of Famer play. Receiver DeAndre Hopkins is going to be a Hall of Famer. And so was Justin Jefferson of the Vikings. I just have to throw that in. Anyways, had a blast. Went with my dad, my brother-in-law, and my nephew. It's kind of a yearly tradition we have. Thank, thanks to all of you who commented and said, have fun at the game today. I hope they win for you. All that fun stuff. People who aren't Vikings fans, people who like other teams. You know, a lot of the friends of this channel, most of them like other teams. You know, we have people from all over the nation and I love every fan base in the NFL. They're all so unique and fun. You know, you've got the Dallas Cowboys fan base, which is the biggest one probably, and the, and the Green Bay Packers fan base, and the Steelers. There's so many great fan bases. Um, but I was born here, and I just love the Vikings. It's in my blood. They've never won the Super Bowl. Maybe someday. Enough of that. Without further ado, let's begin today's Dollar Tree Haul. The first item I want to show today is just kind of, um, we got these paper, paper bowls. Now there's pretty good glare on here. So let me just kind of show you, um, from there. Now it's a two piece, 10 and a half inches by four and a half inches. However, they're called paper bowls and they are paper bowls, but we are not going to use them for that. Um, Mercy was looking at this and she wants to cut up. We're just going to cut up these pieces and put them in our craft box and just kind of use, yeah, just kind of use it for crafting. So we picked up that kind of a fun item to find kind of unique. Now this, oh my goodness. Now, you know, by the time we post this, Halloween has come and gone. All the Christmas stuff is obviously out. Look at this. Save some cookies for Santa. Just a nice, you know, storage container. And, you know, it's the Greenbrier Dollar Tree, you know, Dollar Tree's um, own brand, of course. But I just love, I just love this design so much. Oh my goodness. Just the sentiment of it. Save some cookies for Santa. I mean, how adorable is that? Now, um, it does not say on here what the dimensions are. So I measured it. It's eight and a half inches by eight and a half inches by two and a half inches. Two and a half inches this way. So there you have it. I also want to mention that on some other channels, we saw some other designs for this, but at our stores, we only found this one. 
So we picked up that. And speaking of Christmas items, look at these trees we found. Decor. Love these guys. Really, really nice. I like I like the the kind of the wood, full wood base. Not sure if that's real wood or not. Maybe like a cork. But I just really, really like these trees. Um, you know, it's a green briar and it is um yeah, just really, really like these. Aren't those cute? I like I like the material. Really, really fun. So we picked those up. Let's stay with the theme. Let's stay with Christmas. Oh my gosh. Look at these booties. Look at these little baby booties. This ornament, this decoration. These little baby shoes. Oh my gosh. Little baby boots. How adorable are those? So, yeah, this is actually, I think, one of the first ornaments, if not the first, we picked up. And uh, I just want to show you from every angle. They're so cute. Look at the bottoms. Look at the bottoms of these. I mean, seriously. <laughs> I mean, is that adorable or what? So we picked those up. Wow, those are just, those are so cute. I just can't even, I can't, you know? Speaking of Christmas ornaments, look at these campers. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Wow. Look at those. What a fun ornament. A two piece, two ornaments for the price of one, $1.25 for two campers. Oh my gosh. Love the colors. I just kind of love the whole, the glittery thing. I mean, look at that. Look at that fun little detail for $1.25. Five. Oh my goodness. So we found those. Two different Christmas ornaments. Let's stay with it. And this is a metal wreath hanger. Metal wreath hanger for your front door. I guess any door. It doesn't have to be your front door. Closet door. Any door in your home that you want to put a wreath. Yeah, just a fun um, wreath hanger. We found that. And I think I'm just going to show you every item I have that has to do with Christmas. Because, let me see, here it is. Oh, here it is. I had two items that were kind of a set, and I couldn't find one for a split second there. Look at these Disney flavored lip balms with kind of a Christmas theme. Christmas and holiday theme. And it is actually um, Disney. Flavored lip balm, mint hot chocolate. If there's any glare, I apologize. And candy cane swirl. Mercy will love these flavored lip balms. And then I think for Christmas, I just have one more, well, four more items, but they're all kind of, uh, um, um, they go together. So a lot of you commented, um, the last haul that we did, we had found some really cool from cobblestone, um, cobblestone corners, these little miniatures. We found four of them, four different miniatures. And I'm going to show you one at a time. Look at this. It says cobblestone candy. And again, it's uh, cobblestone corners, which is what, you know, Greenbrier, you know, the Dollar Tree, their own brand. But look at that. Just the detail on that. Cobblestone candy, a little candy shop. And of course, as with all of these, you've got your little tab. Pull the tab and it lights up. You know, let's, li let's light this one up. So make sure when you buy it, it has the tab. For those of you who are light sensitive, maybe turn away for a second. And let's see what this guy looks like lit up. Oh, wow. That's pretty. That's really pretty, I think. So we found that one. And I have three more. Three more. This one is a fire station. Respect to every firefighter out there. 
Thank you so much for keeping us safe from fire and, and other hazards. Thank you for all you do. So yeah, we found that one. Two more. These are so, I mean, I just love these. I just, I think we have like six of them now. Now this one's fun. This one's a, also kind of a candy shop. Cobblestone sweets and treats. Look at that. Let's see what this one looks like lit up. Pull the tab. If you're light sensitive, turn away. Oh, that's pretty. I like that one. That's really nice. Um, comment below, which of these four do you like the best? Myself, I, well, I'm gonna show you the other one first and then I'll tell you which one I like the best. And this one is cute. It's Cobblestone Cafe, a little coffee shop. Very nice. You know, of these four, I like this one the best. I like this one the best. Uh, cobblestone Candy Shop. I like the door. I really like the door and the wreath. So comment below which one of those four do you like the best. So there you have it. I think in this haul, that is it for... It is. That is it for Christmas items. So let's move on. Uh, we found some car hooks. You know, you kind of put them in between your headrest and you can... Hang your Dollar Tree bags on here. Obviously, you can any kind of bag. But for all of my trips to the Dollar Tree, all of our trips, there you have it. So kind of neat. You know, I like the rainbows. Shout out to um, Crazy Days of Callan, who loves rainbows. Callan from Crazy Days of Callan channel, I should say. And look at the cool oranges. Yeah, we picked up these two different car hooks for your car for hanging bags when you go shopping. Keep shopping. And then we got this. Um, Mercy picked this out, this Jot Sticky Note Holder for Post-it Notes. How neat is that? Kind of the full marble. I mean, how neat is that for a buck twenty-five? Seriously. Very, very cool. So Mercy picked that out. So we found that. And then speaking of mercy, we got, oh, for those of you who may be, you know, I never know if someone could be watching this for the first time. Mercy is my daughter who appears in a lot of videos on this channel. And if you are just starting to watch now and you enjoy this channel, you will definitely see her in some past videos and she'll be in some future ones, of course. Okay, so Mercy loves pens. She loves art, she loves pens. And we found this, we found some Bic Gelosities. Now these here, obviously it's a two pack, as you can see, um, right smooth every time. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, sometimes I'll test the pens on a piece of paper. Today I didn't actually bring any paper with me, so I'll just show them. But yeah, just a nice, um, just good old fashioned Gelosity smooth gel pens, and then, Similarly, these Jot gel pens. And these three colors are red, blue, and black. Yeah, Mercy just loves all pens. So she's going to, well, she already does. She hasn't used them yet, but she helped pick them out. So we found those different pens. And then um, this is something kind of practical for us. An 18-piece shipping label from Jot. Kind of glary on the package. Let me hold it back a little bit. But yeah, just, you know, four inches by six inches. Shipping labels. 18 of them you get. An 18-piece from Jot. Just kind of a nice practical item that you can always use. Now, here's a fun one. This is so fun. I could not... When I saw this, I'm like, wow, I have to have this. I don't know about you guys. Doing dishes, you know, what is in the dishwasher? Are they clean? Are they, is it, are they all clean? You have to look in there. From now on, we are going to use this double-sided magnet. Clean, dirty. 
there you have it. We'll always know. Are they clean? Are they dirty? We'll just keep flipping the magnet around. I mean, how cool is that? I could not believe it when I saw this. Five inches by five inches. I just really, I love the look of it. Double-sided magnet. Clean and dirty for the dishwasher. Let me know what you think about that one, about that double-sided magnet. So much fun. Um, a lot of the stuff towards the end here is kind of practical stuff before the taste test. Um, but I do have a couple of fun things. First of all, let me show you this. This is a mobile gaming grip handle. And this has intense glare. So I'm going to open this up out of the package. So it's used, you know, for put your mobile phone in there. Open this up and show you, you know, for those of you who are gamers. Mercy is. She likes playing one or two different. Um, she likes this game called Paparia. A mobile game. So, yeah, let's take it out of package. And it looks like this. And you just put your phone in there. And then, obviously, you put your thumbs here. And, you know, it's got the, the stand. And you play. Kind of neat. So we'll give that a try. We found that. And then a lot of practical stuff. I'll, I'll show you the last two items that aren't practical. They're just uh, they're just fun items. Oh, here's a couple of shirts for my son. Let's show these. Good old name brand, Fruit of the Loom. My son, obviously they haven't been washed yet, so they're a little wrinkly, just straight from the store. Uh, my son, I just have to say, he looks really sharp in green. He looks so sharp. And, uh, you know, he's never been on the channel. He's a little camera shy. He has special needs for those of you who are new to the channel. So, yeah, we found this uh, Fruit of the Loom for him. Fruit of the Loom green t-shirt. And then we found this really cool blue, and he looks great in this color as well, collared shirt. Little collared blue button shirt. And obviously we haven't, you know, thrown these in the... Washer, dry yet, dryer yet, sorry. Um, that's stuck on my word there. We haven't, we have not laundered this yet, so it's a little wrinkly. Yeah, we found that shirt for my son, Joaquin. Okay, and then this is fun. Mercy's going to love these, and my son too. We found kind of this four-piece set of books, and it's just called God Made. God Made Colors. God made earth. God made seasons. Love this little guy down here. God made animals. How cute is that? And I'll just open one of these up. You know, it says like, you know, God made the pigs. He made the cows. You know, just for, just cute little, you know, I'm going to read this to Joaquin or, or Mercy can uh, look at this. God made the lions. He made the bears. Okay, that's funny. Kind of. Lions and Bears are two of the football teams in the Vikings division. Detroit Lions, Chicago Bears. That was weird. For me. My mind's always on football. Sorry. God made the Lions. <laughs> he made the Bears. And he made the Vikings. I'm joking. No, but isn't that neat? Um, just kind of a four-piece set of God-made books. So we pick those up. And then we got three flavored lip balms. Pixie Sticks, flavored lip balm, strawberry. Cherry from Blow Pop. And Airheads Cherry. So we found those through lip balms. Everything we help, everything else in this haul is sort of practical and then a really fun taste test at the end. So here we go. These are the more practical. I kind of kept it in little like theme sections here. So we got this dry shampoo powder for all hair types. Now I need a haircut right now. So right now I don't even, you know, I wouldn't even use this, but uh, it's kind of been hat weather for me a little bit. It's, it's nice out, but it's still chilly in the mornings in Minnesota, you know. Um, but yeah, from Be Pure. And 1.7 ounces. 
Dry shampoo powder for all hair types helps absorb oil and add volume to hair. So we found that. And then I wanted to mention, we found these Brillo Basics um, wet sweeper cloth refills, six count. But you know, do you guys have any, have any of you guys um, used this for your Swiffer? I'm just curious, and if so, how did that work for you? So we pick these up. We pick those up to give that a try. And then now I've shown this item before. I just, it's kind of a returning item just because I tell you, we just can't have enough of these. These are just so neat. These SureFresh vented lids, containers, container and lid. And you know, as always with these, I'll just show you, take the, I'll take the thing off here. As always with these, you guys probably know this, but I'll just show in case anyone's never used this item. You want to make sure um, when you put it in the microwave that you just kind of pop, you just kind of pop this here for ventilation. But you guys probably know that, but I just thought I'd mention that super quick in case you did not know that. So yeah, got two of those. Sure fresh container and lid. The dimensions, um, well, it's 3.78 cups it holds. Or 30.28 fluid ounces. Yeah, so we found those. Almost done here, and then a taste test. Um, we got some more of these really fun. Actually, this was, I, this was supposed to be in the fun section, so. These Jot Arrow Magnets, I love these. So we already have, we have six of these. I'm actually looking at my, at our fridge right now. And one color that's on the fridge, or one color here that's not on the fridge, is one of my favorite colors, and that would be purple. Purple for Prince, purple for the 6 and 1 Minnesota Vikings. Just saying. Um, boy, people who aren't Viking fans are going to be like, enough of the, but it's okay. It's a long season. So we got these. Jot Arrow Magnets. Just love these. These are absolutely fabulous. I just I just love the look of them. And I just they're really functional, you know, to point to whatever you want to, you know, whatever, you know, on your fridge that you want to remind yourself of. Those are really neat. Now, in the last haul that I did, um, we had gotten some of this essentials exfoliating body wash, but we found a different scent this time. Juniper berry, 12 fluid ounces. Nice name brand, Arm & Hammer. We found that. Um, this, we haven't found in a while. Um, you know, it's this uh, kind of a home store, glass and surface cleaner. You know, you get 13 ounces. And, you know, it claims it's streak-free, foaming action. All that fun stuff. So, yeah, you know. Not the most exciting item in the world, but you can always use that for cleaning. So we found that. And then we found this guy. LA's Totally Awesome All-Purpose Cleaner and Degreaser. And we've gotten this before, but we found this different um, scent. Cherry Blossom. 32 ounces. A lot of glare and on this one. So I'm just going to kind of, I'm not going to show it too close up, but. LA is totally awesome. Cleaner and degreaser spot remover, cherry blossom scent. One more item and then the taste test. I'm so excited about the taste test. Okay, last item for today. Nothing too exciting. We got nine tall kitchen bags. And you know what? These really honestly hold more than they look like they would hold. These are really good. You know, I mean, they're the Greenbrier, you know, Dollar Tree's brand, but... I mean, it's such a difference in price between this and like Glad and the name brands. I mean, I'm sure those, you know, those are excellent. You know, the name brands are excellent, but I'm telling you, this these really hold more than more than you'd think when you look at them. You know, and they're nine, uh, 13 gallon bags. 13 gallon bags, unscented, non-perfume. So there you go. We picked up actually a couple of these. I'm just showing you one. Guys, that is it for today's Dollar Tree haul. 
And now, the taste test. And I am very excited about today's taste test. I'll show you the items now and tell you the calorie information. And then I'm going to go off camera, microwave them, come back, and eat it. And give you my immediate score in 0 through 10 with decimal points. I love doing the 9.1, 8.7. I just, I think it's good to know, you know, degrees of A, B, C, and D. So, in a previous haul, I had eaten the Fast Bites cheeseburger. No, Fast Bites, I think it was um, Fast Bites. Yeah, it was. It was Fast Bites cheeseburger. So, it was good. I gave it an 8.9. And a lot of you had said in the comments, a lot of you had said, have you tried their chicken sandwich? And even more specifically, a couple of you had said, have you tried their barbecue chicken sandwich? So, I'm going to. So, um, this is, you know, obviously microwavable. Five point, uh, five points. Not five point, five ounces, sorry. Well, 5.0 ounces. Um, now, I don't know what country this is made in. It is Tyson Foods, and it says distributed by Advanced Pierre Foods, Cincinnati, Ohio. And here's your calorie information. 360 for this bad boy. And if you want to pause the screen, there is all your nutritional information and all that fun stuff. And I am going to go off camera and microwave this and come back and eat it. But let me just show you first the other item I'm going to try today. And I also taste tested this brand um, in a previous haul, but now I'm gonna do a breakfast wrap. This is El Monterey breakfast wrap, XX large egg, potato, cheese sauce, and sausage. Very interesting. Now, all of the information on here is written in such fine print that I don't even know that you could possibly see this. So I'm just going to look at this. It says amount per serving, 400 calories, and the serving is the entire thing. So I mean, this is pretty big. This is um, 6.5 ounces. So that's, you know, that's, a, that's a pretty good size um, breakfast wrap there. So there you have it. Oh, this is from Dunaba, D-N-U-B-A, Dunuba, California. So made in the USA. So guys, let's go off camera. I'm going to microwave this and I'll be back to try this and score it. Be right back. Hey everyone, I am back. So I microwaved both items. And, oh, actually, one second, let me get the packaging. Okay. Okay, I am back. All right, we microwave the items, and I'm very excited. So, I'm going to try this first. Again, it's the Fast Bites barbecue chicken sandwich. A um, couple of friends of the channel said they like this and that I should give it a try, so I will. You microwave it for about 70 to 85 seconds. Let's sit for one minute. I cut it in half. It looks like this inside. So let's um, take a bite. Before I do, I wanna say thank you again to Diane73Feria for sending me these fun Coca-Cola glasses. Oh my goodness. Again, Diane, just, I mean, everyone who sends anything, it's just, we're so grateful. So look at how cool the Coke looks in there. So there you have it. That's the McDonald's Coke. Drink that after trying it. So here we go. Let's try this without further ado. Fast Bites barbecue chicken sandwich from Dollar Tree. Hmm. Okay. Interesting, I need another, I need one more bite. I'm gonna go a little off the edge here because I just, um, this part looks good to me. Okay. I just wanted to make sure before I score this. So I wanted to take that second bite. I mean, this is a dollar twenty-five. 
I have to say, I really like this. I like it better than the burger. I like it better than the burger from Fast Bites. I'm going to give this a 9.1, a 9.1. It's really, I mean, the texture is good. I mean, of course, you know, it's it's not like a sandwich from a restaurant. I, mean, I would never claim that a microwave food would be. But actually, I mean, it's actually, I mean, look at this. It kind of looks, doesn't that sort of look tasty? I'm giving it a 9.1. I enjoyed that. I will definitely be eating that off camera. Oh, just love these little cold glasses. All right. So 9.1 for the Fast Bites barbecue chicken sandwich. Okay, so I also obviously microwaved this El Monterey XX Large breakfast wrap with egg, potato, cheese sauce, and sausage. So inside, you know, when you cut it in half, it looks like this. You can kind of see a little egg in there, a little potato, a little cheese sauce. And obviously it says that there is sausage there, sausage in there. You can kind of see it here. Um, now, the last time I ate a Mel, an El Monterey on the air, it was so, like, the temperature was so hot. So, but here we go. Mmm. Interesting. Mmm. That's pretty good. I'll be honest. I did not expect to like this as much as the last El Monterey that I tried. And I don't. The last El Monterey I tried, it was 9.1, I believe. I'm going to give this an 8.8, .8, but I would get this again. I would 100% get this again. Um, I'm not a gigantic breakfast wrap person. I tend to eat more of the lunch stuff, but it's not bad. Let me try one more bite. No, oh, I mean, you know, it is what it is. It's a microwave food. It's very doughy, you know, but I'm going to finish this. I think I would really like this with um, some salsa, to be honest, with a little bit of salsa, but I wanted to try it just with nothing. Actually, the Fast Bites barbecue chicken sandwich, I'll, I would probably put like even more, maybe redundant, but even more like barbecue sauce on there. Um, so there you have it. An 8.8 .8 for El Monterey XX Large breakfast wrap and 9.1 for the Fast Bites barbecue chicken sandwich. Guys, that is it for today's Dollar Tree Hall and Taste Test. Thank you so much for watching. We are so grateful to each and every one of you for helping our channel grow. Until then... Keep shining, keep smiling, keep shopping.